Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome to One Man and His Meeple. Today I'm playing Kanban EV by Vital Lacerda, published by Eagle Griffin Games. This is actually my third video of Kanban EV. I have a Tabletopia video, and one where I guest did on one of Paul Grogan's Gaming Rules playthroughs. Links to both of those are in the description below. In Kanban EV, you're working in a car factory. You have to gather the resources, parts and plans required to keep cars rolling off the production line. You also score production points for testing designs, meeting targets and getting training certifications. The solo game requires you to compete against Mr. Lacerda and Mr. Tootsie, all under the watchful eyes of factory manager Sandra. You'll be roaming the factory floor and checking your progress and docking production points if she thinks you're underperforming. If you ever finish a meeting with zero or fewer points, then the game ends. Otherwise, you tally your final score and achievements and check your rank in the solo rules. So, let's play Kanban EV. Okay, so just a little more setup to do. We have uh, four meeting objectives to put out. So we have training and a certification in assembly, cars and garages one and two, upgraded designs um, and uh, training in admin. We get four of these, which I'm just going to put face up down here. We'll look into those later. Just going to put those up up there for now. We have to fill up the um, the parts bins in logistics. So uh, we simply put out everything that's on this card. So two of the bodywork, um, drive, engine. electronics and sat nav and we get the one piece that's not there so we're going to get ignition and we'll put that over on our player board we get two of these as well and this one that we used goes to the bottom of that deck we'll put those up there for now this deck the this is the ai deck this card goes on the bottom of the deck. We'll shuffle that quickly. Put that on the bottom. Uh, the, uh, the AI, Mr. Lacerda and Mr. Tootsie get four of these cards. Four upgradable ones. These are all upgradable ones. The ones that are not upgradable have the, the X in the corner there. These are all upgradable and they get those. And we get the top one. So we got a blue plan for a blue car with uh, the electronics for the upgrade. So uh, first I have to decide where I, which of these spaces I'm gonna start on. Let's uh, zoom in down there for a bit. So I can start on any of these four spaces here and take the bonus that it awards. If there is one, priority is then from right to left for um, player order for the start. But I'm going to take this one that gives me a bank shift because I'm of the opinion that bank shifts are important in this game. And we'll see why. That means Mr. Tuxi with his, with his white... Um, Badge will take the second space. They don't get these bonuses. And Mr. Lacerda with his black badge will take the rightmost space and become first player. So let's see where Mr. Lacerda is going to go. We deal three of these cards out into a tableau. And then Mr. Lacerda will draw one of these cards and he will take the top one of the three. So that's that one. And he will go to um, that's assembly. And he will take the three shift spot. Right there. Next up from right to left is Mr. Turksy, and he will take 
the top one of the two cards that remain. Um, he will take the top card of the two cards that remain in this tableau and he will go to um, test track R&D. And he will take the two shift spot there. Next, it's my choice where I'm going to go and I'm going to go to pick up some parts, I think. So I'm going to take the three shift spot in logistics. Uh, Sandra doesn't do anything this round. She's um, just going to sit in her office. So Mr. Tootsie is going first. Uh, in R&D, they simply upgrade one of their designs. So that's electronics. That goes up to there. Uh, they take the, uh, an electronics piece and they put it, they're upgrading the black car with electronics. They're upgrading the electronics in the black car and they will take, when they cover these spaces, they will cover victory point spaces first. Victory point spaces first, three, two, and then they will cover bank shift spaces, then they will cover uh, book spaces, and then they will cover the other spaces. In this case, there are no victory point ones here, so they're gonna cover that uh, bank shift space. He doesn't actually get that benefit, he's just stopping me from getting it. Because this moved up into the two space, I lose two points. And ordinarily, if there was a car here, or more than one car, Mr. Tuxi would take the best car that was there. Um, there are no cars, so he can't. He also trains, and he should have trained first. So that's, um, that's Mr. Tuxi's go. Next is Mr. Lacerda. And he is in assembly. So he's going to train. Then he's going to take his preferred part, which is green, and he's going to try and put it into the assembly of the car that corresponds to the position Sandra's in. What do I mean by that? Well, there are five stations here. One, two, three, four, five. Sandra is in the fifth one, and that corresponds to the one, two, three, four, fifth space there. We will just check, are there any upgrades on the red car that will stop Mr. Lacerda from playing the green, the ignition there? There aren't any, so he can do that. Now, how does he move his cars? How do the cars move on the assembly line? Well, when Mr. Lacerda does it, he goes as close to the middle as possible. So, uh, let's demonstrate. The red car pushes the gray car, pushes the green car along. And a new red car comes out onto the assembly line. If uh, Mr. Lacerda is certified, then he will do that twice. But at the moment, he's not. So that's all he's going to do. No victory points for him because he doesn't push out any of the green cars and none of the, um, the speech bubbles. So that's Mr. Lacerda's going over. My go. Right, so I have three shifts here in um, logistics. And I have one bank shift that I got at the start of the game. First thing I'm going to do is to play one of my logistics cards. Now I want to maximize the pieces I get here. I don't really mind what they are. So I'm going to put that there. So I can pick up three of the um, bodywork. Three of the body kits. So we're going to put out one of those and drivetrain, not the ignition, uh, not the engine to ignition. That logistics card goes to the bottom of the deck and I draw a new one to replace it. 
So that was one action. I get a bank shift for that. And then for my second action, I'm going to take all three of those. Which I've put into the bases on the player board. I've got room for five and six if I if I get trained in logistics, uh, uh, if I get trained in logistics, I can pick up a sixth one. So that's two actions out of three, possibly four, because I had a bank shift when I came into this round. Now I could pick up some more parts, um, but I think four, potentially five, because of the um, part voucher is fine. I'm going to spend another action training there. My third action, I'm going to spend training there. I'm not going to use my bank shift to train there, though. Or shall I? No. As I said, Sandra does nothing this turn. She's going to give us a break on the first turn. And from now on, player order is determined from top to bottom on this row here. So we're just going to clear this up. So that forms a discard pile. Discard pile for those. This card that was left over remains and becomes the top card of the new tableau. And we deal out another two cards on top of it. So we have two logistics and another assembly there. Let's see where Mr. Tootsie is going to go. He's going to take the top one of those three cards, which is logistics. Down, he's going to come down here and pick up some parts. Next uh, in priority, next in turn order is Mr. Lacerda. So he's going to well, he's taken the card, the top of the two, which is logistics, but unfortunately we're blocking all the spaces in logistics. So he will go to the next three shift space in the next category. So he's going to go down to design, which is somewhat annoying because I wanted to go to design. So he'll be restricting me to the two shift area in design. Which I think I am going to take actually. So I'm going to go to the two shift space there. Sandra is going to come up to R&D where she is going to um, assess our performance at the start of the round. So let's just zoom up there and see what she's going to do. Actually, what we really need to look at is this tile here, which tells us what Sandra does in each of these spaces. And in R&D, she wants to know, have I got three or more upgraded designs? Well, we don't really need to go and look, but I have no upgraded designs at all. So she's asking me because I am the least trained in R&D. She doesn't assess Lacerda and Tertzi. She's not interested in what they do. She's really only going to bother me throughout this game. So I lose one point for not having the um, required parts, or the required uh, designs, and one point for every bank shift less than five. Well, I have got two, so I lose three victory points, three more production points. One, two, three. Now this is why I say bank shifts are important. If I can get my bank shifts up to five, it doesn't matter how poorly I do in Sandra's assessments, I'm only going to lose one production point each time she assesses me. You can spend a lot of resources getting trained up here, one, two, three spaces to get, to get ahead of these guys. Um, 
but do you have to do that on every track now you only have to pick up five bank shifts and you're good on every track except for the initial victory uh, initial production point that you lose so that's why i think when i the way i play it i always try and pick up bank shifts as quickly as possible and hold on to four or five of them for most of the game if possible it becomes easier later on so we're down to nine production points and if we have an end of day or a meeting where i have fewer than zero production points that's the end of the game we're done so we don't want that to happen anyway sandra has finished there she moves this she moves the pace car one uh, the test car one space around the track so she keeps that progressing so apart from assessing me and taking my production points she also keeps the game ticking over and stops it getting bogged down okay next up mr tuxi here in logistics he's going to train once putting us all on equal footing he will then take the part that's depicted on the card he picked uh, he will empty the bin for that part he will put all but one back into the um, supply and keep one and he they will keep up to six of these um, throughout the game and they will always keep the six that are highest on this track uh, mr tootsie does not play a kanban card mr lacerda will play a kanban card when he comes down here and refill the bins uh, so he's done next up me taking some designs well i already have a blue design so it could be a good idea to pick up another blue design so i could get one if a blue car comes out i can get a car and then start doing upgraded designs tested designs obviously i would like to take some things from these spaces because i get bank shifts if i do that and to that end and because there is a green car very nearly coming out up here i think i am going to take those two green designs with my two shifts and get two bank shifts i'm not going to spend any of my bank shifts i'm just going to refill that so i'm not going to do any training not yet mr lacerda down here he will take from the just like he took uh just like he fed the um assembly line according to where sandra is he will also pick the a pair of designs from the location that Sandra is in. So one, two, three, four, five. Sandra is in position one, and that corresponds with one, two, three, four, five positions along here. So he will take the top two from there. Check they are both upgradable designs, and they are. And they go to the bottom of their stack there. If they're not upgradable designs, if they're these ones with crosses on, they go to the bottom of this stack and they get two production points, or rather I lose two production points. Whenever Lacerda and Tootsie gain production points, instead we just I just lose production points instead. We don't separately track points for them. And he trains, which he should have done before his action, which does make a difference sometimes. If Lacerda is certified down here, he also takes a tile from the central stack there. Anyway, that's that first round over. Sandra moves down to the next open space in the next um, point on the factory floor. Uh, quickly tidy these up. I always forget that. new tab below so we have logistics admin and design mr tootsies first and he's going to take the bottom of those three bottom one 
and he's going to design or he would but we again are blocking design so he will go to the next available space and take um, this one spot in admin next is me now i have designs and i have parts what i would really like is there for there to be some cars on the track so i could pick up a green car and then do a tested design for it now i can't go to a space where sandra is so I can't come up to assembly and pop that green car out, which is what I'd really like to do. So I'm going to come down to admin into this two spot. Now the admin space is special for the players because it allows you to carry out actions in any one of these of the other areas, as you'll see in a minute. OK, and Mr. Lacerda, what's he going to do? He's going to take the bottom one and go to admin, except he can't because we're in admin. So he'll go all the way back around to the top and go to R&D. OK, so from top to bottom, we all act. Mr. Lacerda up in R&D, he's going to upgrade one of his designs. So that's putting electronics into the grey truck, covering the victory point space, but not taking those victory points. And we just put those into a stack there face down this because it's electronics again goes up to three and i lose one two three points now in my opinion this is the worst space for the uh for the ai for the Serda and Tootsie to be going because it costs a lot of points next worst is this one because they can get victory points production points for pushing out cars the other spaces don't really lose me a lot of points. So those top two are bad. And he trains as well. And he should have trained first. And I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot. He would take the first car behind the test car, but there are no cars. So at least they're not getting cars as well. Sandra wants to know if I have more than three three or more cars in my garages well, obviously i don't so she will dock me one point for that and she will dock me only one point for the bank shifts because i'm nearly on five so you can see why bank shifts i think are important uh, she also empties all these parts out of the assembly Next up, we have Mr. Tootsie down in admin. That means he trains once in admin and he trains once in the area where Sandra is. And that's all he does when he's in admin. That's all the Serda does as well. And finally, me, I am going to use my actions up here in assembly. I'm going to put one of my body kits into now my other design is blue so i'm going to use put that into the blue space up here so that we can push this green car out and move the blue cars like that so this green car comes out onto the race track uh, onto the test track behind the test car so that's one action and i get two victory points for that production points and because the green cars desired i get a speech token as well which i used in the meetings so i'm going to put that in there so we have two now so that's one of my two actions you only get two shifts when you use admin Now I can pop out another car for more production points. I can pop out that truck, the grey truck, with another car part. It's quite tempting actually. 
it's tempting because as we've seen when Mr. Tutsi comes up here he takes the best car and if the green car is the only one there he might steal it before I can get it whereas if the grey car is there he'll get the grey car as well and also it's worth two victory points so I'm going to put that into the space behind the green car which I can do because green has no upgrades and neither did blue and we're just going to shift those three along and put the grey truck onto the test track as well. I get another two victory points for that but no speech token because the grey truck isn't a desired um, product, desired car. So that's two shifts. I'm not going to train. Because I don't want to use my bank shift yet. I could train in admin or I could train up here. I think I can train up there. I can definitely train in admin, but I'm not going to, not yet. Okay, tidy up these cards. There is another step. If any of these cards have car parts on the bottom, like this one, there is a step where you perhaps swap out some of these um, in, the, in the parts bin. Scrap or whatever it's called, I can't remember. Um, it will happen, so I'll talk about it when it happens. Next two cards out in the tableau, and first up is Mr. Lacerda, and he's going to take the top one and go to um, assembly. The three spaces free, so he will. Next is Sandra, who's going to move down to um, logistics. Then Mr. So it's, he's going to come take the bottom one of the two and go to design. I want to go to R&D so I can get some cars and so I can get I can get a design tested hopefully. And I'm up first so let's go for it. I've got three actions here. My first action I'm going to take the green car which is the car. Let's zoom in. It's the car behind the test car, so it only costs me one shift. So I can take that, I'll put it somewhere in a minute. That moves the test car up and all the other cars up behind it. And I can choose which of the garages in my player board I'm going to use. Now I've noticed that in the meeting here there are production points available for cars in garages one and two. Let's have a quick look at my objectives. Have I got any garages? Nope. I have got a green car requirement so that's pretty useful. So let's put it, we want to put it in garage one or two I would say. Unfortunately, I'd like to put it in garage four and get two more bank shifts, and I'm really tempted to do that. We're a little way off a meeting. The meetings happen when this, uh, the test car gets round to one of the shaded spaces, and then the calendar goes for a walk down there, and we have a meeting at the end of the round. I'm going to take bank shifts. I am going to take these bank shifts down on my player board. I'm going to put it in garage four. Flip that tile over and grab. Nope, over here. Two more bank shifts. So now I have six bank shifts. So now when Sandra tests me, no matter how well trained I am or not, I'm only going to lose one production point. And I've got one in the bag as well, so I can actually start spending them now. Nevertheless, I still have two more, two more actions up here. Or two more shifts to spend. And, oh, I should have taken one of my designs. I need, when, when are you, um, 
when you take a car from the track you have to take one of your designs you need a design for that car plan so i'm going to take this one that's got the x which means it's not upgradable and that goes to the bottom of this stack the central stack for my second action i'm going to upgrade the bodywork on the green car so um see that so bodywork on the green car so i take the bodywork uh part from my player board and i put it into one of these spaces around the green car i'm going to take four victory points and i flip that and i put it above the green car because i actually have the car this is a tested design not just a, an upgrade which gets me another two victory points and it will give me more victory points at the end of end of day meeting end of day these the first couple of meetings it's a real race to stay above zero after you've survived one end of day and one meeting i think you're pretty much okay you can't relax but you're safer so that's two actions i could upgrade this Because there are no blue cars out, so I can't take the blue car. I think I'm going to upgrade it just for two points. It gives me, it only goes here, it's not a tested design, but it does get me two more points. So I'm going to put the ignition into the um, recycling, that's what this is called, and take the electronics. So you can take anything from here but you have to put a piece in there that doesn't already exist it's kind of hard to see if i yeah so there's bodywork electronics and sat nav down there ignition and sat nav put them maybe down there that makes them easier to see okay cool so i swapped ignition for electronics and now i'm going to use the electronics up here to upgrade the electronics in the blue car and i'm going to go there and take three more victory points one two three and two for the upgrade one two that was up to 19. excuse my creaky chair so that's three actions I'm not going to train, I'm done. Mr. Lacerda over here in assembly, he's going to take his preferred piece here, which is um, the engine, and he's going to put it into one, two, three, the third car down, the green car. The green car has uh, an upgrade requirement, but it already has that piece, so he can put his engine into there and pushes out that blue car actually rewind that first of all he's going to train so mr lacerda becomes certified in assembly that means he moves his badge into the next space along into the first space that's just what he does Mr. Tootsie will always go into third, and if he can't go into third, he will go into fourth space in the next bracket up. So he takes his piece and um, provides it in the green car, moves those along, the blue car comes out onto the test track. And because he's now certified, he does that again. So he will take his preferred piece again, 
the engine. He cannot obviously put it in the green car because they have to be different. So he will try and put it into the gray. The gray has a required upgrade of electronics, so he can't put it into the truck. The red car has no required upgrade, so he puts it into the red car, which is a sports car. He always drives these pieces to the middle. He gets actually he gets two points for the first green car and we lose that speech bubble so that's another point whenever the uh your opponents here gain a speech token you lose a victory point and now he's pushing out another green car so that's another two production points and Actually, the last one wasn't wasn't required car, wasn't a desired vehicle, so I'll take keep the point from that. So he's had uh, he's provided two pieces because he is now certified there. Okay couple of um, fixes. The second time the Serda che checks for car parts, he should have used um, the car part depicted on Tootsie's card. So instead of engine, that should be ignition. Everything else is still valid. Couldn't put it in the gray car. Also, first time anyone gets certified in the department, they get two VIP production points. So I lose two more. The first time anyone reaches the end point uh, gets fully qualified, they get um, three production points. Okay, so now down to Sandra here. She looks at the training, I am equal last. So she wants to know, do I have three or more car parts? I don't have three or more car parts, so um, I lose a production point and I will also lose one for each bank shift below five. I have no bank shifts below five. I'm on six. So I lose no more production points for that. She removes any doubles or triples. She basically empties each bin down to one part. And that's all she does there. And then Mr. The Snow, Mr. Tootsie down here in design, he will take one, two, three. He takes the third part, third designs from there, puts them to the bottom of his stack, and we move all those along. And he trains. Right, next round, I'm first to pick this time. Now the cycle here, for me, because there's plenty of cars out here at the moment, the cycle for me goes parts or plans, one or the other, in, well both in different order, and then back up here to R&D to pick up cars and upgrade designs. So now really I'm balancing the most efficient way to try and do that. Obviously, I want plans for green cars so I can get my upgraded designs and I'd like to try and pick up a blue car or the, um, the, the station wagon or the truck, not station wagon, saloon or the truck. That, right. Just quickly adjust this. That should be on two and that should be on four now. So I'm going to come down here to design. The only problem with me doing that is it means Sandra is going to go straight to admin and um, we're going to do end of day. Uh, 
of course the other reason I can't go to logistics because Sandra's there so I'm pretty much my, my choice is to go down to admin really but I'm I'm, I'm going to go there can I survive just quickly doing some they're going to get four points for these designs plus anything for these upgraded designs and I'm going to get one two points I should I should survive unless anything goes drastically wrong actually right before I pick this let's do this properly I should be able to see what the possible actions are for the next turn and it's important so first of all we've got to do this right here we have um, the the blue part and the the um, burgundy part sat nav and we have the sat nav down here so that directs that we must swap the engine in for sat nav out and that just goes to the discard pile and then we put two more cards into the tableau this is the shuffle so we shuffle all these together Okay, now let's have a look down there. It doesn't look like anyone's going to go up to um, R&D and get any more upgrades. And it also doesn't look like anyone's going to go to assembly and get any more victory points. So I think I'm safe doing what I was originally going to do, which is go down to design, to pick up some designs. Mr. Lacerda, you can always end up surprised here, though. He is going to go to logistics. Sandra would go on to go into design. She can't. She's going to go straight down to her desk in admin. And Mr. Tootsie is going to take the top, which is admin, and he's going to go down to admin. Right, the third is first, he's going to play Kanban card. Uh, the way Lacerda plays Kanban cards, he lines up the double item with the relevant bin. And then he shifts it up or down depending on where Sandra is. Now, obviously, she is in admin, so he's going to shift that down, and then we just fill up any relevant bins. Um, Drivetrain and two electronics. That goes to the bottom of that pile. he trains and then he takes according to the part he picked on his card he takes those then he puts one back in the supply and keeps one there he'll score points for these at the end of the game that's Lacerda done my turn in design okay I'm going to take the green one so that I can do a and more tested designs because they're valuable we've got cars out here on the track we've got the truck the gray truck blue car and the green car i don't want another green car particularly especially because one of the end game scores is four different cars so grabbing two cars the same isn't Particularly useful at this point. So, shall I take this um, this pretty bad um, bad grey one? It's bad because it doesn't give us any bonuses. These spaces give bonuses, and I got a bank shift for that one. Well, we said we could try and get this blue car. Hopefully. Uh, 
the Serda and Tertzi aren't going to nick it. So let's get one plan to take the car and one plan to do an upgrade. So that gives us another bank shift and one book training manual. The training manuals allow us to do training. You can't use them the turn you get them. So that's my three actions down there. But I am going to spend one of the bank shifts I had previously to train one space in there. So hopefully we can catch up with some training now. Now we've found our feet as long as we survive this end of day. Next, we've got Mr. Tootsie down here in admin. So he trains once in admin and then he trains where Sandra is, which is admin again. So he's become certified. So I lose two more production points and he moves his badge up to that space there. Now, let's see if we can survive this. Sandra wants to know if I've got trained in two or more departments, three or more departments, which I have not. I've not got trained in any departments. So I lose one for that and then one for bank shifts or per bank shift less than five, which is none. So I'm fine. Then, uh, end of day, Lacerda get, Lacerda and Tertsy get two production points for each of these and then they are removed from the game so that's two times let's put them up there now let's remove them out of the way so they don't get confusing two times two is four i'm down to four production points and then i get for each car in my garage i get one point for every upgrade that's been done so that's one and then I get one point for each tested upgrade, which is one more. And we seem to have survived the first meeting, or the end of day at least, which is good. So that's a tough one, that first one. The next big one we need to survive is the end of um the end of week uh no the right this is the end of week and the next one we need to survive is the big meeting i kept saying end of day end of day is every set of shifts obviously end of week is when sandra progresses all the way back around to her admin job okay Sorry for confusion there. We need to test this, see if we're going to replace a part. Um, it's this card. We have both of those parts already in the spares, in the recycling, so we don't swap those. So let's see what's next in the next turn in the tablet. Right, so the reshuffle card has come out, that goes into the discard pile. Uh, assembly and R and D. Now, because the reshuffle card came out, guess what? We reshuffle. And first up, Mr. Lacerda. He is going to take the top one, and he would go to design, but we're blocking the three space, and Mr. Lacerda will never go to a two space, or the one space in admin. So he will go to the two space in admin. Next up is myself. I need some car parts so I can get these upgraded, uh, get these upgrades, get these cars. So I'm going to go there. Mr. Tootsie is going to take the top one and go to assembly. So he's going to push out even more cars. Or uh, potentially another car. Actually, it doesn't look like it because there's nothing in these spaces here and here. And Sandra's back up there in R&D. So Sandra's first, she moves this car around one. 
So getting very close to a meeting now. And she is testing me to see if I have got three or more um, designs. I haven't, I've nearly got three, I've got two. So I still lose one production point and but none for the bank shifts. Mr. Tootsie in white here, he's going to put a um, the pink car part into the black car, into the sports car, except he can't because that has required upgrade of electronics. So next down is blue, which he can't use. Then uh, green, he can't, oh, he can put it into the green one. Actually, he can put it into the, I'm not sure how that got into the blue car. Maybe I'll do that afterwards. Right, anyway, he can put it into the green car. So he will push out that car. We are allowed up to four cars behind the test car on the test track. If, if more than four cars come out, the front one disappears and they all move up. Of course, Mr. Tootsie should train first. I get two, lose two production points for that. And that again was a desired car. So the last speech token goes there and I lose another production point. We have to replace that. Uh, actually, I should have, shouldn't shuffled those. There's the green one. Gray is next up. And then we shuffle the green into the remaining tiles. We'll just put them out of the way. And we need to put two speech bubbles out there. Okay. So Mr. Tootsie's done there. Down here. I need car parts. So I'm going to provide a Kanban card. And I'm going to use this one because one of my designs requires sat nav and there is no sat nav in the recycling so i can use two of them at least and i'm going to pop it that way so we put out two sat nav one engine and one electronics and i get a bank shift And I get a new Kanban card. So that's one action. Two actions, I'm going to take all of these. Four sat navs. Third shift, I'm going to train. And I'm going to spend a bank shift to train again. Should have possibly done that around the other way. I'm first to train here, so I get two production points and I get to move this up. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go there because I sense that we've got a meeting coming up soon. So I want to be higher priority for the meeting. And I get another training manual for that space. So I've got one training manual I can use and one training manual I can't use. I'm not going to use the training manual right now. I could use it there. It would only get me to that space, not there. So I'm not going to use it. Mr. Lacerda down here in admin trains once and he trains where Sandra is. So he becomes certified in R&D. So I lose another. He's first to train. I lose another two production points and he moves his badge up to there.
Now I think I've actually forgot I've qualified for this. This is have two upgrades and I've got two. So I'm going to take that speech bubble. So I've now got three down here. I forgot that. Missed that. If I get another car, I can have another one. Okay, that's the end of the day. Sandra moves down there. I actually got to clear this up. Mr. Tootsie takes the bottom one and wants design. He's going down to designs. I'm going to go up here to R&D to the test track and Mr. Lacerda is going to admin, except he's already in admin, so he would move up to here, but he can't because I'm in that space. He'd then move there, but he can't because Sandra was there. So he's going to logistics, get some parts. Which is good because I said these two are the worst spaces for them to go. So I'm really glad to push them out and not have him go in there. So I'm first. What do I want? I want that blue car. And that's going to be two shifts. So I put that design to the bottom of there. Take the blue car. And this time I'm going to put it in garage one which gets me two more training manuals which I cannot use this turn but I'm going to put them there face down otherwise they'll be over here and I'll forget them right so the test car moves up one and all the other cars move around that means at the end of this day we're going to have a meeting so we'll put that calendar and that calendar down there to remind us. So that was two shifts because the blue car was in the second space behind the test car. So it cost me two shifts to take it. I also want to do some upgrades. So I'm going to spend the sat nav into the blue car and I'm going to take two production points. One, two, put that there. And I also, uh, so that becomes a tested design up there. Flip that. I took those two books. So that's three actions. I'm also going to test this design. Now I don't have an engine, but I can swap for it in recycling, which is cool. Did I take the two victory points for that? I think I did. So this engine is going into the green car and I'm going to take, no, I took two victory points for that, didn't I? So I'm owed two for the design. And then three plus two for that design, uh, all over the place. That puts me up to 11. And we have to move the ignition and the sat now forward. So that's four shifts I've spent up there. I've now got two cars, so I can have that as well, which goes to my player board. Now, do I want to train up here? Do I want to spend my books to train? I don't think so. I, because it can't get me, um, qualified because I've only got two books and no more shifts to spend. You can only spend four shifts in a turn anyway. 
So there's no real bonus for spending my books to, to train up to that space there. So I'm finished there, I think. Next we have Sandra. She empties all these. And then she says, do I have more than three or more cars? And I don't have three or more cars, so I lose a production point, but I don't lose any more because my bank shifts. Next, with Mr. Lacerda in logistics, he's going to play, he's going to train, important. So, he doesn't get the two production points for this, because I was first there. But he does still go up here, and he hits this requirement before me. So he gets a speech bubble, which cost me a production point and any chance of getting that bonus. Now, because he's qualified here, he will take two sets of parts. Uh, first of all, he's gonna play a Kanban card. Uh, so we put the double the right way up and then slide it up because Sandra's here and then we fill these parts. So um, two sat nav, one engine and bodywork. And then his desired piece is sat nav. So he dumps one keeps one and then his second pick would be uh the, the um, drivetrain which is not there there are no parts for it so he turns over another card and we'll take ignition uh, not ignition electronics so he keeps one and dumps the others He's done. Mr. Tootsie down here trains once in design and then takes the tiles from the second space. One, two, three, four, five. Both upgradable, so they just go to the bottom of his stack. And we refill those spaces. And so on to the first meeting. Now. The way this happens, I of course have, well not of course, I have four speech bubbles to play, which is me speaking up in the, uh, in the meeting. Mr. Lacerda gets as many speech tokens as the, as the meeting number this is. This is the first meeting, so he gets one speech token. Mr. Tootsie always gets three. And then in where are we going? Yeah. This order, one, two, three. Let's just double check. Yeah, that's right. In this order, Lacerda, me, Tutsi. We choose where we're going to score in this meeting. Which cards we're going to score on. Now, Mr. Lacerda is first. And he always goes from left to right and takes scores as if he's had the highest multiplier. So he puts his speech token in there and scores four, which of course means I lose four. Now, I'm not going to flick back up to there, but I'm going from nine down to five. Then it's my turn. So what's this worth to me? This is worth four points to me because I have one car in garage one. This is worth six points to me because I have three designs, three upgrades. This is worth nothing because I'm not certified in admin 
So I've got all these speech bubbles, but not a great lot of places to play them. Now I've got my own ones as well. This is certified in R and D, which I'm not. This is um, three points for these, two points for these pieces, which I don't have any of. But this one's good. So I think we can either, we can have that one for eight. Nope. We only got one green card. So this one's worth four. This one's worth six. So I'm going to play this card as well. That's my pick. But first of all, I'm going to play there for six, which puts me back up to 11 points. Then Mr. Tootsie plays from right to left and assumes the lowest multiplier. In this case, it's still four points. So I'm down to seven. Mr. Lacerda has no more speech tokens, so it's back to me. I'm going to take that one for four points. Puts me up on 11. Mr. Tootsie's going to go there and takes two. I'm down to nine. I can't play any more on here, so I'm going to play there and get six, which puts me up to 15. And Mr. Tootsie plays there and gets four, which puts me down to 11. I can't spend this one, so I get to keep that for the next round. I'm the score is I am on 11 points. So we have survived the meeting as well. So let's just clear up from this meeting. These go back into my supply, not onto my board. All these points, all these meeting cards are removed. Now, we take two more from the deck, and I supply two from my hand. I'm not sure if I refill that, actually. Just a sec. And yep, I have to pick two from my remaining three. I'm going to... I think I'm going to put in those two because I don't intend to get any more green cars. I don't want repeat cars in my garage. So I'm going to put those two cards in. Then we shuffle these four. And put them back out here. Now this wouldn't, the order of these wouldn't ordinarily matter in a multiplayer game, but obviously given the order that Tootsie and Lazarda play these, it is important, important to them anyway. And then I get three more of these to make up my hand. That Kanban card needs to get out of the way. So we've survived one day and one meeting, uh, one week and one meeting, not bad. This calendar goes back up there. Of course, the game ends when we have three of had three of one meeting and two of the other, whichever way around it happens. So we can either have three end of weeks and two meetings, or three meetings and two end of weeks, and that's the end of the game at that point. So then it's just back into the ordinary flow. I'm first to pick. I've still got a couple of car parts, but I have no designs. I can now, I now have four books though. I'm going to go straight back down, I think, and pick up some designs. Um, Sandra's coming down into logistics. Didn't clear this up as usual. 
I'm making uninformed decisions. There wasn't a part at the bottom of that. Nope. Mr. Lasada, he is going to test track. And Mr. Tootsie will find out where he's going after I've shuffled these cards. He is going to pick some parts. Well, he can't. He, he would go to logistics, but Sandra's blocked his spot. He was already in design, so he's coming down to admin. Okay, Mr. Lacerda up there gets trained. Um, he does an upgrade. So he takes a, an engine and puts it into the red car. Covering up the victory points there. That goes up to three, cost me one, two, three production points. He actually does that twice now. He is um, certified, so he's also going to put the engine into the grey car, covering up a bank shift. And costing me four production points. We're lucky we didn't do that. He didn't do that just before the meeting, I guess. He will then take the car from behind the test car. So he takes the truck and then these all move around. And he keeps the truck there and he will score that at the end of the game. Sandra wants to know if I have three or more parts. I still don't. So I lose one production point and nothing for the bank shifts. And she clears out any duplicates from these bins. Now it's me down in uh, in design here, right? I I'm looking up here. I think we've got a red car is going to come out of here soon. Either I'm going to go and push that out, or one of Lacerda and Tootsie are going to do it. So I'm going to take this red design. which gets me another training manual. And I'm going to take this blue one, which gets me another training manual. So that's two shifts so have to be careful because it's hard to get the parts because there's already a sat nav in the recycling and sat nav is all I've got apart from my voucher Let's let's take that one as well. So that's three shifts. I'm also going to spend a bank shift and take that red one as well. Hopefully we can pick up a red car and get an upgrade in one go. Anyway. Then I'm going to use two of my, although I've spent four shifts here, I can still spend as many training manuals as I want. I'm going to spend two to get certified there. So I get two production points for being first. Now I could spend two more to get here.
Yeah, I'm going to spend two more books to become fully qualified there. So I get that speech token. And I get to see what's on this tile. And that's two more victory points. So I get three for getting there and two more for that. So that's another five. Put me on ten. And I am done there. Mr. Tootsie down here in admin, he trains once there and he trains once there. And tidy up, ready for the next round. Mr. Sanders up first, he is going to go to, well, it, it directs him to go to R&D, but he's already there, so he's going to move down into assembly, and that's pretty much guaranteed he's going to push that red car out. Sandra's coming down there to design. I am going to go now. I want to go to R&D, and I want to pick up the red car, and I want to upgrade some designs. But... If I go here, the red car won't be there at that point. So I'm going to go to admin so that I can take R&D actions after the Serda has pushed out the red car. Assembled the red car, I guess. Mr. Tootsie down here, where's he gonna go? <laughs> Going to take the top one actually this is good for us he would go to admin but he's already in admin so he's going to go up here what that means he's going to do is take one of these green cars i was going to say I'd make the red car cheaper but it doesn't actually but still it was a nice idea Right, well, he's off first. He does some training and then he upgrades one of these. So he's taking the sat nav and putting it in the red car. Move that up to there, which costs me four production points. And he takes the green car. So they will move around. And he is done. Um, I've got some admin I missed when I certified in design I should have moved this up and I'm going to put it there getting two victory points and a speech token just check I am certified in only two yep And I unlock some of the stuff on my board here. So I um, unlock R&D. I can now do that's the right one, isn't it? Yep. I can now do this double upgrade, which might be important. It's uh, a boost of points. And also I'm qualified in design. So I've unlocked that as well. I unlock that extra space there. Right, uh, Mr. Lacerda up here in assembly. He trains once and then he takes the bodywork and puts it into the one, two, three, fourth car down, which would be grey. The truck. You cannot put bodywork into the truck unless until he's put in an engine and electronics. So he looks next to the the sports car or the red car and he can't put it in there either next he looks to the black car he can't put it in there he looks to the blue car he still can't put it in there and he comes right down to the green car which will take a bodywork upgrade and that pushes out the red 
onto the test track and earns him two production points, which means I lose two. It's not desired design, desired car, so he doesn't get speech token as well. He then does it again. He takes the engine and he looks to put it into the truck, the gray car, which he can do this time. And pops out another green, green car for two more production points. Still no um, speech token. And he's done there. Next up, Sandra. She doesn't ask me anything because I am more qualified than the other guys. But she does, I think, remove all eight of these. Yes, I think I think in solo and two players, I think she removes all eight of these to the bottom of the central stack. And then the rules don't say it, but once these stacks are depleted, because Tootsie and Lacerda can still take from that stack if Sandra is up here. So I always just put one tile in each of those. And now it's my go and I'm down here in admin. But what I want to do is spend shifts up here in R&D. So I've got two shifts. So I'm going to spend two shifts to take the red car. That moves all of these round. We're nearly at another meeting. And I'm going to put that into, doesn't really matter what garage that goes into. So I'm going to put it into there and get two parts. Vouchers, two parts vouchers. That's two shifts. I can still spend two more shifts if I want to. I also need to think about getting trained up though. Looking pretty unlikely now i'm going to spend one shift to two of these i can't spend but the one i can i'm going to I'm going to um, upgrade the electronics in the red car and I'll say why. So I'm swapping that parts voucher for the electronics and I'm putting it into the red car I just picked up. So I'm going to put it there, which gets me a training manual. And that's two victory points, two production points for that. Now, I'm because I've unlocked this, I can un use my, the double jump. Um, I just guess just remove it. And what that means is I can move instead of moving one of these up, I can move it up two spaces. The electronics goes up to six, and then I earn that many victory points. So I earn six victory points more for that. It's a one-off, nice little bonus. And you want to use it when you can jump up to five or six, really, ideally. So that is 
three shifts I've spent there. I think I need to spend one bank shift for that. Then I'm gonna spend another bank shift to train one space in admin. That's four of my shifts. And then I'm gonna spend two training manuals to get certified in admin. And then because I think another meeting's coming along, I'm gonna hit that space there which gives me a higher priority. So I get two more training manuals for that, which I cannot spend this round. I'm just gonna check Lacerda, one, two, three. Yep, he's still only done three, okay. And Tootsie has only done admin at the moment. So yep, okay, all set there, yeah, he's still there, right. So that was four shifts and a couple of training manuals to get the part, the car, the upgrade, and certified in admin. Oh, bing. Okay, no meetings, no end of week. Clear up. No car part to swap. That's the reshuffle. So we will reshuffle immediately. And see where, right, clear those out. Mr. Tootsie is going to go take the top one and go to assembly. Mr. Lacerda, he's up next. He's going to take the bottom one and he's directed to go to assembly, but he can't because he's already there. So he's going to go down there to um, logistics. Now I've still got quite a few parts and quite a few designs so i'm just going to go straight up there to r and I don't really want to pick up any more cars although it wouldn't be a bad idea but what i'd really want is a gray or a black one at the moment sandra is going to come down here to admin so we will be having our second end of week at the end of this day and i'm up first i don't want the green cars I am, um, I have three shifts to spend. My, my sat nav parts aren't much use, but I've got parts vouchers. So, um, between drive chain and ignition, it doesn't really matter. Electronics there, it doesn't really, no, it is ignition. It doesn't really matter what I'm gonna upgrade. Let's do both the ignitions. So, um, okay, parts voucher in exchange for ignition, which I'm putting into the blue car, and I'm going to put it there to get training manual. All these ones, I've got three I can spend this round and one I can't at the moment. That's going up there, green goes up to there. Second parts voucher I'm exchanging for another ignition which I'm putting into the red car. No bonus to get there. So it doesn't really matter. That's and four points for those two upgrades, taking me up to 16. That goes up to there. That's two shifts. And I'm gonna spend two shifts to train to there and one training manual to train to there. That puts me up. And I'm going to go I'm going to go first in the next meeting. That gives me another speech bubble. I've also unlocked admin and I've just unlocked um, Oh, did I cheat there? 
I hadn't unlocked that. So I need to go back six points because I've only just unlocked that double jump. So that should only be on five and I've knocked the six points off. Okay. How did I manage that? Okay, never mind. So that's three shifts and a training manual and I'm done, I think. Yep, yeah, okay, right. Mr. Tootsie here. He's going to put um, body work part into the fifth car down, which is the red car. He can't put it into the red car. He can't put it into the black car. He can't put it into the blue car. He can't put it into the green car because it's already there. And he can't put it into the gray car. Now, does that mean he picks another piece, a second part, or does he lose that turn? Okay, if the part is not permitted, choose the next car cycling to the right. If it is not permitted to pay, provide the part for any car, the action is lost. So. Mr. Tertsy, poor Mr. Tertsy loses that action, although he does train, so that's nice for him. And he goes up to that space there. Mr. Lacerda trains there and plays a Kanban card. way up and slides it down because Sandra's down here so we put out one ignition drive and two bodywork that goes to the bottom of that pile and then he picks sat nav which is not there and then he picks bodywork which is and then for his second one he takes ignition. So he has six parts here now. So they will start to um, only keep the most valuable when they get new parts. He's done. Sandra down here wants to know if I'm certified in three or more tasks, and I now am. So, or in fact, she doesn't test me at all because Lacerda is behind me. But we do have uh, an end of week. So they have two, four, six victory points, production points. I lose six, I'm down to four. And for each of my cars, I get. For each car in my garage, I get one point for each upgrade that has been performed. So for blue, I get three. For red, I get four, and for green, I get two, so that's three, seven, nine. Picking me up to 13, and then I get one point for each of my tested upgrades, and I have six of those, so that goes up to 19. So, still in the game. On to the next day. I am first to pick. Where do we want? I want, need some parts so I can continue to pick up upgrades. And I also need some new designs because I've spent all mine. So where should we go? If I went to get parts, I'd have to take the two shift space because Lacerda's blocking it. So I think I'm gonna come down to design. Mr. 
Torch, see where is he going to go? He's going to go to um, logistics, get some parts. Mr. Lasada is going to go to the test track R and D, which is bad for me because he's going to do some upgrades. And Sandra is also going up there to um, R and D. Sandra's first. She's not assessing me because I am not the worst trained, least trained. But she does move this car around, which means our second meeting is coming up. Mr. Lasada, he upgrades two of these. So the first one is um, electronics into the green car. And he covers bank shift space. And he's going to put, oh, that goes up to there. And he's going to put an engine into the blue car. I mean, upgrade the engine in the blue car. Obviously, the blue car has an engine already. And that goes up to there. And that cost me 11 points. Uh, down to eight. And then he takes this green car. Did he train? No, he didn't train. So he gets a further three points. One, two, three for that. Uh, oh, that just stays. I'm still eligible to pick up that token. Right. That was not a good turn for me. Mr. Tootsie trains and jumps up to there. And then he just takes, um, he would take Satnav and then he would take Ignition, but they're not there and uh, not Ignition Electronics. Ignition, Satnav, we're just going to keep turning these until we get to the engine. The engine is worth keeping because it's worth five points, so he will dump the bodywork kit, I think, because that's the least valuable. And that's him done. Looking pretty empty in parts. Designs then. Um, I can now get upgraded designs in red or blue or green. So. My sat nav parts here aren't looking very useful. I can't recycle them and nothing here has got sat nav parts. So I'm definitely going to go and need to go and grab some parts as well. So let's take those two, the two bank shift. Uh, not two bank shift, two more training manuals. I don't think it's very likely that one of these black cars is going to get popped out onto the track. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to bother doing it. And the grey car looks equally unlikely. Although it would be nice to get a fourth different car so I can qualify for this score. Oh. Um. Also, there's a... There's a score for being trained in assembly. So maybe a visit to assembly is warranted at this point. Can I, is it possible for me to push out a gray car and get trained? Possibly. Let's, um, let's take this gray one as well and see if we can get a gray car, the truck. That one carries no bonus, so that's three shifts I've spent there. There's no point spending a fourth and I'm fully trained. Should I, should I spend a bank shift? No. 
just in case Sandra catches me um, unqualified in something as well. Oh, now there's a sat nav tile come out, look. Anyway, done there. Tidy up, see what happens. So I see what's happening in the next round. We haven't done it much, but you can always use the information that's here. I did it a bit earlier to work out where they're going to go and to block them off. Did it a little bit. Oh, we've got to have this meeting, haven't we? So let's pretend I didn't see those. I have this meeting. So once again, I've got four speech tokens to spend. And this time, Mr. Lacerda has two. Mr. Tootsie once again has three. And I'm first to go. I'm just going to double check this. Lacerda has one, two, three. He's on three. Tootsie has one, two, three. So he's on three. And I have one, two, three, four. So I'm on four. So I'm first to go. So quick rundown. What are these worth? This one's worth nothing to me. This one's worth nothing to me. So this is great planning. This one is worth four. And this one is worth nothing. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh, well. We can play one of ours. That one at least is worth four points. That one is worth, well, if I play it straight away, that's worth nine points. So I think that might be my target. That's upgrades for engines. I've got one of those. So that's only worth four despite all my upgrades and that's worth four. So I'm I'm going to play that one. And while I still have three speech tokens, I'm going to play there and get nine points for that. Now, we might come unstuck on this meeting because I hadn't realized how poorly I was doing on these. Um, Mr. Lacerda. He plays there and gets six. You're down to eight. Mr. Tootsie plays there and gets two. I'm on six. My go. I don't know if you can even play if you don't qualify for any of them to block them. I am qualified for that one. So I'm going to play there and get four. One, two, three. Mr. Lacerda would play there, but he can't, so he plays there and gets eight, putting me on two. Mr. Tootsie is playing from right to left. He goes there and gets four. I am on minus two. If I don't scrape up some points somehow, we are out. No, I'm done for. This is worth nothing. This is worth nothing. That's unbelievable and a real shame. What I should have done is gone to, if I'd realized, if I'd looked at this, which I really should have done, because I knew that meeting was coming up, I should have come to logistics and picked up some parts or at least qualified for this. I could have picked up one of them and I could have picked up some parts. Hmm. Mm, that's annoying. Anyway, well, I'm sorry about that. 
but that is um, that's game over we have minus two points at the end of the meeting and the rules say that if you're on zero or fewer points at the end of the meeting or at the end of the week you are out of the game so somewhat disappointing because I think it was going quite well in terms of um, in terms of the upgrades we had here had some decent points and um, some scores down here as well potential for scoring all of those I think in the end really if we just got through that meeting oh well okay well I think I'll pack that one up there and maybe do another one next week while I'm in the mood for it. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.